jury has gone home again tonight without a verdict in the Michelle Traconis trial. It was another full day of deliberations, but they did have some questions for the judge. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Zinni. Our team coverage continues right now in Stanford. As we watch for a verdict, Audrey Russo will join us shortly, but we do want to start with Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland. He is live outside Stanford Superior Court. Matt. Uh, hi there, Mark and Aaron. Well, sending one note yesterday, jurors had another note today, specifically asking questions about tampering with evidence and also an accessory. Now, they wanted to know about the wording of count three, asking does the defendant, in this case Michelle, Michelle Traconis, need to have physically altered, destroyed, concealed, or removed an item in order to constitute tampering with evidence? Asking specifically, does there need to be, quote, physical contact? Well, when the jury of three men, three women were brought in, Judge Kevin Randolph read their question explaining to them accessorial liability does not require physical contact. Now, count three is connected to the garbage bags dumped by Fotis Dulos in three trash cans in the north end of Hartford on the evening of May 24th. That's the day his wife Jennifer disappeared. Traconis, who was his girlfriend at the time, she was in the passenger seat of his pickup truck. Now, those items of evidence recovered by state police investigators included a few that contained Jennifer's blood, along with one garbage bag that prosecutors say had Michelle's DNA profile on it. Following the juror instructions would lead one to believe having accessorial liability is enough to prove a defendant guilty of tampering with physical evidence. Is that the case or is the section titled accessorial liability from page 44 of the jury instructions misleading? The court believes it is answered that in the first question. The answer is accessorial liability does not require physical contact. If that does not adequately respond to your inquiry, you can send the court out another note. And um, we invite you to just resume your deliberations. Thank you. And they did just that, getting back to deliberations this afternoon. Again, wrapping up just after 445 this afternoon. They're going to be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Coming up tonight at 6, Michelle Traconis' defense attorney, he just spoke outside of court, and you're going to hear from him at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom outside Stanford Superior Court. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.